Meghan Markle orchestrated a calculated plan to control the narrative during her recent interview with CBS's Jane Pauley. According to reports, Meghan's purported outrage over a specific question was nothing more than a carefully crafted performance, designed to portray herself as the victim and shift the focus away from her own actions. The interview, which marked the couple's first joint television appearance since 2021, was intended to introduce their new initiative, the Parents Network, a heartfelt mission to support families dealing with the devastating loss of children due to cyberbullying-related suicide. However, the conversation quickly took a dramatic turn when host Jane Pauley broached the topic of Meghan's past comments about suicidal ideation, initially shared during an Oprah Winfrey interview. Meghan, seemingly caught off guard by the question, told Pauley that she wasn't expecting it. However, according to royal commentator Angela Levin, the Duchess's reaction was far from genuine. Levin, the author of Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, From Outcast to Future Queen Consort, claimed that Meghan was screaming and very annoyed after the interview, suggesting that she had orchestrated the entire scenario. After the interview was over, she was apparently screaming to the producers, very, very annoyed at what they had asked her, Levin said on GB News. You mustn't do that with Meghan because she's in control. But you could see she couldn't contain her anger, her fury. Levin's allegations go even further, suggesting that Meghan had deliberately set up the question, without Harry's knowledge, in order to portray herself as the victim and shift the focus away from her own actions. Meghan gave Harry no warning that she had arranged for Jane Pauley to ask that question, Levin claimed. The royal expert also accused Meghan of playing Harry like this for years, implying that the Duchess has been manipulating her husband to serve her own agenda. Levin further suggested that Pauley's smugness towards Meghan was a result of the Duchess's alleged orchestration of the interview. These claims have sparked a heated debate among royal watchers and commentators, with some defending Meghan's right to discuss her mental health struggles while others believe that the Duchess's reaction was nothing more than a calculated performance. Body language expert Judy James, however, offered a more nuanced perspective on the interview. She noted that Meghan's gestures, including hair preen rituals and a wry, mirthless smile, suggested that she was being politely brave while discussing her mental health journey. James also observed that Meghan's hand reached out to hold Harry's leg, as though seeking his support, while Harry sat relatively still with his head cocked watching her face with what looks like concern. The expert's analysis suggests a complex dynamic between the couple, with Meghan appearing to seek comfort from Harry, while he displayed a more reserved and concerned demeanour. Regardless of the truth behind the allegations, the interview has once again thrust the Duke and Duchess of Sussex into the spotlight, with their every move and interaction scrutinised by the media and the public. As the couple continues to navigate the challenges of their public life, the question remains, is Meghan truly the orchestrator of her own outrage, or is she simply a woman trying to share her story and advocate for important causes?